The spiral face add-in, which was first introduced in 2017, has been updated for FeatureCam 2018 to include the ability to set boundary and island curves. This provides extra control when using this face feature to allow you to program your parts more efficiently. So I've loaded in my part and we're actually going to program the face feature for this surface here. To do this, I'm going to load in the required add-in. So I'm going to browse to add-ins and then select manage. And this allows me to choose a variety of add-ins from our library. So I'm just going to search for spiral and I'm going to load this add-in into my document. So once this has been added, I'm actually going to create a user-defined feature to define my spiral face. To do this, I'm going to create a new feature, select user, and you can see that spiral face has been added to my list of features. By selecting next, I'm presented with a variety of options to control my entry and my lead out move. The two new variables allow me to define a stock curve as well as an inner stock curve. To define these variables, I'm just going to select stock curve, user curve as a stock boundary, and show all my curves. I've actually renamed my curves to inner and outer boundary. So in this case, I'm just going to select outer boundary. And for my inner stock curve, I'm going to select inner boundary. By pressing next, I'm given the option to define my location. And in this case, I'm just going to set my Z position. By pressing next, I'm displayed with my tool that has been automatically chosen. In this case, I'm actually going to edit this tool because we have a limited number of tools available for this job. So the tool I have available is a flat end mill and it's actually a 16 millimeter tool. At this point, I can press finish and you can see that my feature has been added to my list of features. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move up that face to the top of the list because I want this operation to appear first. At this point, I'm just going to deactivate all my features and just load in my new spiral face. Then I'm going to run a centerline simulation just to show you the toolpath. So as you can see, it starts from outside of the face area and spirals in slowly until all the material has been removed. At this point, I'm going to activate all of my features in my setup and run a 3D simulation. So as you can see, all of my material has been removed and I'm performing this facing feature in a significantly more productive manner.